Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Well, what? Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. I tell you, you start counting five like a sucker. How's uh, how's Vegas going? It's hot. It's pretty hot, but it's getting it's gonna get cooled off in a minute. It'll cool off soon. Yeah, it's fall yeah. right now, right? Isn't it supposed to be? Well, I mean, I don't see all the four weathers, but or whatever the seasons yeah. weathers. But like literally, like it's getting ready to get cold. <laughs> Vegas is freezing when it's like it's either hot or cold. There's no in between. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. trench coats. Like seriously. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it could be worse. You could be in Texas. This place is garbage. Yeah, the armpit. But, like, I don't do good with humidity. My hair, ugh, yeah, it does not like the humidity. So, well, so yeah, I mean, I don't do well either, just because I'm like super fat. <laughs> <That> shit <doesn't... laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You. you should, you no. should be good. You should like the sweat. Like, I like, I love it when I work out because, like, and I don't wear a sports bra. Cause it tickles when the boob sweat falls, like, and it hits my stomach. It t it tickles. So like people like, I have like yeah. this one workout video where I'm doing legs and I'm sweating, and and my trainer's like, I like I was giggling so much, I was laughing so hard, and he didn't understand why. And first of all, the burn, but second of all, the sweat dripping was just it tickled so much, and I just Wait, <laughs> it's kind of funny, huh? Tit sweat. Yeah, tit sweat. <laughs> I love it. We have so that good. in common. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's yeah, kind of cool. No, it is <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Like I go outside and like the back of my knees feel like thawed out chicken breasts. Like, it's <laughs> terrible. I don't know what that feels like, but I, like, you're it's out. not good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not it's horrible. I know. Good. I move, but yeah. Damn. So, so how long have you been doing porn? Like how so, long were you? Yeah, I was in the porn industry for uh, since 2010. So I guess technically I shot for, uh, what was it, eight years? Yeah, so I, yeah. I haven't shot like a, a big scene, like for a big company mm -hmm. other than my, myself in like two years. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. yeah. So is that what you do now? Just all kind of? Yeah, like, I do my, my OnlyFans and um, mm -hmm. that's what I used to do, uh, like I used to, uh, you know, do like host events and stuff like that but right now like that was like that was my main uh source of income so it's kind of crazy getting pregnant right now and then like your main source of income not coming so it's like but you know what i try not to stress because it ages you first of all big no no yeah, yeah if it like as soon as i found out that stress ages you it was a key factor in all aging people like oh I yeah stopped. anything that stresses me out right out the door like seriously i don't deal with it Lucky. So I just kind of like, you know, take a deep breath and just have faith yeah. in the fact that, you know, life is going to take care of me. So that's a good way to look. Cause I've, I'm trying to work on that shit. Like I'm for some reason, I'm the most stressed out 26 year old on the planet. Like, you're 26. Wow. Yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you shouldn't be stressed. I mean, I stressed it like when I was at all ages, but like, you just got to remind yourself and tell yourself like once, once you start stressing, just like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Life is yeah. going to take its course no matter what. So you can sit there and you can stress out about it and, and age yourself. Or you could just like, just kind of like sit back and let life take the wheel, you know? Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. Cause I'm aging like a fucking banana now. I like, can see that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I can see that your peel is coming back, baby. <laughs> Man, no, like my hair is going gray and everything. Like I look in the I, mirror, I'm like, who, who the hell is this? My hairstylist just told me I had a patch of gray hairs back here, and I was like, "You're lying! You're lying! <laughs> I don't believe him. I do not believe him. He's lying. Yeah. I've never had a gray hair in my life ever." Yeah, well, yeah, join the club. I mean, I'm trying to get this little silver fox thing going, but you know, I don't know if it's gonna work. I would my, like a my mechanic. Movie. 
my mechanic used to tell me, he's like, I was like, Ooh, look at it. You're salt and pepper, baby. And he's like, mm, it's jet black with all these, without, without all these, um, streaks or highlights streaks. Cause it's, mm. he's like, technically he's got like a few black hairs, but it's all white. And he's like, I'm telling you jet black without all these streaks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like okay yeah. okay <laughs> i like it i think it's cool <laughs> but people have gray hair at 13 now so i mean yeah that's true it. yeah people are stressed for like no fucking reason now yeah me included yeah. like i don't have shit to really be stressed about but it's weird that it just happens you're alive and you can change anything you know anything you don't like you can change it so yeah. i mean it might not be pleasant for the time but yeah. Like moving, moving is stressful to me. Stressful is all get up. Oh I'm yeah. I'm going to do it. I got to do it. So wait, I mean, is Tennessee kind of still the plan? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. It's nice. There's a school out there that I want to go to for zoology. So I just oh, have really? to like, even if I don't get accepted into the school, I still think it would be a good idea to move out there. I mean, it's nice. I have, my, I have a friend out there and you know, the weather's yeah. really nice. I just don't like the snow. I don't like it snowing. I don't like, no. I do not like, I don't like cold weather. I don't like the snow. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's not really that many options then because every place, like even where I'm at, like in Texas, it snows every once in a while and it's hot well, as shit see, here. In the middle, like in the middle, like, like New Orleans was perfect almost. Like it, it had mm. humidity, but yeah. uh, humidity is good. It, like, I mean, I'm steaming my face every now and then to like get, you know, for the, yeah. you know, fresh young effect or whatever but yeah, yeah seriously yeah. so yeah. i don't humidity is okay but like not a lot like florida oof. Yeah. yeah where are yeah. you from like originally tucson arizona born and raised oh shit okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're definitely my mom used to yeah my mom just moved back there and um mm -hmm. and all my siblings live in different places like one lives in washington one lives in Pennsylvania and one lives in uh, tech or Texas. Oh, like really? Right outside of Austin. Yeah, right outside of Austin. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah Austin I don't know. is cool. I've been to Austin, Austin once. It was really cool. I went there. Austin. Like, um, yeah. Yeah. Austin's fun to visit. But yeah. Living yeah. There. I would imagine. I would imagine. Yeah. It would be too much. I got a tie dye shirt that says Keep Austin Weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. That. It, Dude, I want to go back and visit, like, when I don't, like, because I was with somebody that was just, like, like, not good company, a waste of space, you know, pretty much a waste of space, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, not good company, so I was just, like, Ugh. I want to go back and just tear it up, like, my yeah. style. So well, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good place to do it, for sure. But really, I mean, yeah. hell, you could do that anywhere, though. I mean, you go sit in a damn Walmart parking lot and tear it up. Yeah, but I mean, like Austin was fun. Like, there's like they they had a. I found all the I like. I mean, I just stayed in a hotel like right down there, um, in like their downtown area or whatever. And yeah. it was just like pretty easy to find anything, everything. It was really cool. Like, and not and people weren't snotty. Like, it was just really nice. It's like yeah, people, it is. A, it's a really small, big city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was really cool. Kind of like it's Nashville. Insane. Nashville's big, right? It's supposed to be big, but it's small. I don't know. I've never been to the only part of Tennessee I've been to is Memphis and Memphis oh. is pretty small or it seems small. I mean, but, it's, but it's supposed to be big though, right? Isn't it? What Nashville or Memphis? Yeah. Either no, Nashville, one. I think Nashville is kind of like Austin, like about the same size probably. Oh really? Okay. I think so. Yeah. I don't think That's it's like that. Thing. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, they definitely hold on to that. Keep Austin weird shit like tight. Cause that's really funny. Like I know, like you'll see the craziest shit. Like people like sitting outside drinking coffee, like using a typewriter. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? In the middle of the street. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like at a like cafe, like using a typewriter. Like, I saw the bats. The bats were really cool. The bats are cool. Yeah, on the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Would you send yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. They're scary, yeah. but they're cool. They're so cutie. Have you ever seen them up close? Like a picture of them up close? They look oh, like they're yeah. Like, oh, no. They're I'm, so cute with the big old eyes. Like, oh, yeah. I grew up so like cute. redneck. And that's like we used to do like bat fishing. You know what that is? No. Uh, <laughs> so you take like a sock and you fill it full of like gravel or rocks. 
and you throw it up in the air and they just catch it and then they they like fall down with the sock but like they're fine you know and you just kind of like look at them for a second and then they just fly off but yeah wow that's kind of cool but i mean i don't know if it's animal cruelty but i mean it's kind of cool like i don't know if i'd say it's animal cruelty it's animal annoyance it's it's animal trickery it's oh yeah but you're not really like hurting them yeah but they're not like hurt by it it's just that like they're probably kind of annoyed that it happened but yeah they think it's food and then they're like ah we're going down like they're just really weird like bats are strange as hell they they got rabies though right i think that's kind of a misconception i mean i think that they do like to an extent but i don't think it's i think a lot of things from um the movie Cujo, you know, because that's like the whole idea is that the dog gets bit by a bat. Oh, and gets okay. Bit I think that's like where that that comes from, but I don't think it's actually as accurate. I mean, yeah, they say that yeah, they say that it, that Corona comes from bats too. So maybe bats are just like the root of all people's all all Americans or anybody living. You know, yeah. the root of all evil. You know, maybe we should just leave them bats alone, huh? Yeah, Let them probably. Be. <laughs> yeah i mean i don't know why like there's so much food in this world why does why do people have to eat bats like isn't there enough don't you have enough i mean it's bad enough because eating dogs you want to eat something it that's like strange. wow i'm like, like i don't know I've never, yeah like i've never looked at a bat and thought damn that i bet that tastes good what about cow's balls? I mean, cow's balls are and everything. Who who sat there and was like, hmm, these kind of look good. Let's taste them. Oh, yeah, that's true. What is it called? Like Rocky Mountain oysters? Is I don't like a know. I, think that's I don't know. I don't know. I mean, here, like in Texas, like we eat like alligator and shit like that. And right yeah, I tried alligator once. Yeah. Alligator's like not bad. It does it's taste like chicken. Like chicken. Mm-hmm. It tastes exactly like chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, I mean, we eat, like some, we eat, like squirrel and shit like that. I mean. I've only done it once, and it was not good. Mm. I mean, like, I don't think that they look appetizing. You could have a few squirrels. Like, you could have a whole family of squirrels. Like, that's leave them alone. True. You know? yeah. And there's also, like, a fucking Taco Bell down the street. Like, I love Taco Bell. Like, Taco Bell's my favorite right now. I just love it. It's the root of all evil right now for me. Are you, if I move to like, ta- Huh? Do you eat, like, weird shit now that you're pregnant? Um... No, 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 I have to eat meat. I have to eat meat now, like a lot of meat. Like, and I, I mean, before, like, I don't know. It's just like, meat's not really, I mean, I'm not a vegetarian by any means, but I have to be in the mood for it. And for me to cook it is just like, I'm scared that I'm gonna give myself salmonella or, you know. So mm-hmm. I've, yeah. just thrown, I've been throwing stuff in the crock pot and just doing it like crazy. And I just found a recipe, like, or not a recipe, I just watched some lady that they make chicken, uh, chicken salad, and yeah. she 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 boiled the chicken in chicken broth, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Why didn't I think of that?" So I just yeah. threw it in the crock pot. <laughs> yeah, that's the, yeah. I, so have you it ever came tried? Out really those? good. I did like, and then I made I yeah. made meal preps. I meal prepped it with some. Yeah. Ch- it's like shredded chicken, and then I found this amazing, like you know, picking out a barbecue sauce is like picking out a wine, like a red wine. It's like. You're so overwhelmed. You're just like, ah, just screw it. And you pick whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I love this one, this one brand, Stubbs. But, like, I've never <laughs> seen this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Stubbs but, like, one, yeah. I have found the best one. It's, like, it's called Sweet and Sticky or something. <laughs> sticky Sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, everything about that just sounds fabulous, right? Who doesn't want to be yeah. sticky? And who doesn't want sweet, you know? Like, yeah. True. Right? Yeah, and anything, so. anything good in this world is messy, but sticky, that's the best. Like, yeah. seriously, the best. I love sticky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried going, like, vegan or vegetarian? Uh, no, I, no, I used to be a vegetarian when I was younger because I, I couldn't cook, you know? I, like, so every day when I came home yeah. from school, I ate the same thing. I ate green beans and a baked potato every single day of my life growing up. Like, I never ate meat. And it was like, I didn't really miss it. When I started eating meat, I started gaining weight. So I was like, mm. but Yeah, yeah. I remember, like, in, 
like a while back, I tried going vegetarian and I just went from eating like pepperoni hot pockets to cheese hot pockets, which is. (laughs) (laughs) They don't have cheese hot pockets. Come on. They don't. You're lying. No, they got four cheese hot pockets. And that's what I did. I was just like, I know. Right. But that's what I did. I was just like, all right, throw away all these pepperoni hot pockets. And I just replaced them with cheese hot pockets and gained weight. I was like, I don't think this is supposed to happen. (laughs) <laughs> okay, think about it. The biggest, some of the biggest animals in this world are vegetarians. Okay, okay. True. Rhino, I mean, hello. An elephant, hello. They're all yeah, big. They're huge. Much. Come on. You know. Yeah, there's not a lot separating me from like, the cheetah. Know? They eat meat. You know, like yeah. look at a giraffe. Giraffes kind of like they can't really be big. I think that's like in their bloodline to have that like natural skinny freaking metabolism thing going on. You know. Maybe it just takes so long to get to their belly from their neck that they just don't gain that much weight. Yeah, it would be funny if they had double chins, though. (laughs) (laughs) That's kind of funny, yeah. A double chin to draft, be like, whoa, dude, who mixed your bloodline? (laughs) Who mixed your bloodline? That's kind of funny. That would be really funny. Death, what's your death row meal? Like you get one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't love anything that much. You know what I mean? Really? Like I don't, yeah. I don't crave, like, I don't love anything that much. Um, because, like, I mean, a death row meal, like, seriously, like, who's cooking it? Like, even my favorite <laughs> restaurants, like, they all mess everything up. I probably get Taco Bell because it's always the same. <laughs> no matter what, like, I mean, if I, I can always rely on the fact that, hey, if I'm going to get a chalupa, it's going to taste like a chalupa. You know what I mean? Not like, oh, okay, that meat was bad. Or my favorite restaurant out here gave me food poisoning. They gave yeah. me, like, you know, the chicken wasn't. And it was like, it was a simple um, chicken parmesan. Like, uh, yeah. I get I get the chicken grilled on top. Mm-hmm. But the chicken, and on top of angel hair pasta. Oh, my God, I love angel hair pasta. It'd probably be angel hair pasta. Yeah, okay. just angel hair. Like, a shit ton of it. Like, I just like the way, it, like, I can roll it up, and then I can put it in my mouth, and it just melts. But, and sometimes every, every, every now and then, like a little lady slip, like, you know, Yeah, yeah. but it's like it. pretty much like, it's, it's just dainty. I love it. I love how dainty it is. And it's not like messy and yeah, it's a yeah, good yeah. noodle. That's a good freaking noodle, you know, but <laughs> other than that, yeah. like, I don't know. There's something I really fan, like a favorite. Cause like I'm an adult now I can make my own stuff and I can cook the, my favorite meal of the day, every single day of, of the week, if I wanted to. But I don't. Yeah. There's nothing I. There's nothing I fancy, you know, like crazy. No? So, are there ever any things that, like, when you were a kid, you were like, well, "Man, I can't wait for to be an adult because I'm gonna do this," but that you yeah. haven't. Done. You know that what I, I mean? That I haven't done. Yeah, like those things that you look back, you're like, "Man, whenever I was a kid, I was so excited to be able to get to do this." Really? I've done it all, and then some. Wow, I've lived a really good life. Sense. Like I've lived a really good life. Like, th- like, thankful, thank you know, thankful that I like you know I was abused. I moved out at such a young age that I actually like started just tearing it up, you know. Yeah. Like I, I had my own place when I was fifteen. You know, like it was just. Damn. Yeah. 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 I just kind of tore it up, and then when um. Just a lot of bad, like a stream of bad things happened to me. You know what um. Mm-hmm like as an adult and I just kind of like, you know, was like, what am I gonna do? Kill myself, kill everybody around me or just take a pad and a paper, you know, a pad of paper and a pen and take notes on everything that like, you know, Hmm. that's going on and just kind of like play the cards dealt. You know, nobody knows that I have a flop hand because I I face the world with the royal flush, you know what I'm saying? So Uh, yeah, 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 nobody would know, you know, it's just kind of, yeah, I don't cry in front of people. Because I don't want to see, you know, I don't like sadness. I don't like people to be sad, so I don't cry in front of anybody. Like, it's really, like, I swear to God, I'd probably be, like, a reject. Like, you'd probably be like, what is going on? Is she okay? Like, it would just be really weird for me to cry in front of yeah. people, you know? Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah. So, no, like. I'm the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always happy, even when I don't want to be. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I got to work on. I mean, I don't, I don't really ever just get sad, like, in public. Like I kind of yeah. like keep it in, which I don't know if it's like a great thing to do, but it's not, whatever. it's not a good thing, but you know, what's a good thing is, is that like, is to not get sad. It's okay to be monotone, but like, 
-hmm. figure out what's making you sad and change it. Like, I mean, there's no reason for you to be sad. You're alive. You can change anything like this very second. You can change anything, you know, like, it yeah. might take a little bit, it might take progress, but you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So there's no reason why people are, are mean like to others unless they like that feeling. And I don't understand how anybody could like that feeling because giving is like 5,000 times better. Like, like helping somebody like, okay, I'm gonna tell you the story. I mm -hmm. thought I was going to die, but this lady, she was like in the middle lane, like on the east side of town. And she was like sitting there and I could tell she was crying. Her car was dead. And I was just like, oh. I was like, are you okay? She's like, yeah. I was like, do you want some help? She's like, yeah, but, and she looks at me like, oh, but you're just a girl. I said, hmm. so I run and I park my car and then I come and I get behind her and I'm like, okay, now go right. Okay. Cause like all these cars, like once these cars pass, just go right and go into the parking lot. And she's like, looking at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, I'm ready. I'm like hyped up. I'm like ready to go. And then out of nowhere, this football, like, see, I had no idea if I was gonna be able to do this. Cause I mean, it was a lot. Like it would have slowly made it there. This lady out of nowhere comes, she was like a football player. And it was like, it happened. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was, the act of kindness is so strong that the world manifested this other Bronco to help me push this lady. It was like, yeah. Okay. It was like, so it was like woman power overload. Like I get chills right now just thinking about it. It was the, the craziest thing ever. So like the more yeah. good you do, like, and, and, and so crazy. Like when you do unto the world as you want done to you, it's, mm -hmm. but don't expect anything back. You know what I'm saying? When you do something, don't expect, yeah. she, I didn't even give her my name. It didn't even matter. She's like, Oh my God, thank you so much. And I'm like, no worries. It's like, have a good day. You know? Yeah. That's it. Like you don't do things for a reward. You don't do things like and stand there like, oh, do you have any money or do you have a phone number? You know, maybe you can pay me back with lunch. Right, that. right, right. Just like, yeah. you know what? I hope I hope this made your day and I, and I hope you pay it forward someday. You know what I'm saying? And these are yeah. hopes. Yeah. Damn. God yeah. damn, you have a positive outlook. Jesus. Well <laughs> it's kind of sickening, right? No. It is kind of sickening <laughs> sometimes, but like it's like there's so much negativity in the world that it's easy. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's the way of the world. You know what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a, a lifestyle and it's, um, it's a choice to be positive mm -hmm. and it's hard. It's, it's hard. Yeah. Like people, people that are negative and they're just like, Oh, woes me, woes me, always the victim. They mm -hmm. are living a natural life. They're living something that's just like, oh, they wake up every day. I wake up every day and I make a conscious decision that, Hey, this is going to be good. And, mm -hmm. and, and I'm not going to take anything less than that. And if I get upset, yeah. I need to like snap. I need to make a conscious decision to snap out of it. Cause I have a bad temper, bad, yeah. bad temper, like, whoa, bad yeah. temper. I'm Puerto Rican and German, like, whoa. So it's like, it, it's like, it's really hard sometimes for me to calm down and see and stop seeing red. But mm -hmm. now it's like, I have to like, it's, it's easy for me to be mad. It's, it's so much harder to be a happy person and it's, and it's a choice, but it feels so good because I get so much stuff. Just like life just kind of throws everything at me. Like here, you want yeah. to help this lady, but like, check this out. I'm going to freaking throw you a, a, you know, a linebacker mm -hmm. to help you. That lady, she was amazing. I swear <laughs> to God, my heart was like, when we were done, I was like, oh, like, I seriously thought I was going to die. I literally thought I was going to yeah. die. Like the, the air I was breathing was like so clear. It was like, <laughs> I swear to God, I really thought I was gonna die. It was a lot, but it felt good. It was like no feeling I'll ever feel again. But I mean, it felt good. <laughs> I was like, damn, I don't push cars under the age or under the year of ninety two. They're kind of too heavy. No, <laughs> that was a ninety one. I was pushing it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, that's why I need to, I've got to start doing that. I need to take some of your philosophy. Yeah. Just be positive. You know, once, and then like, I had to teach my mom too. I was like, um, she's always like, Oh, this, oh, that. she's like so negative. She's negative Nancy big time. And I was like, yeah, yeah. mom, you know what? Like I was going to buy her a car. I said, um, I said, I want you every, for 30 days. I want you to post it on Facebook. One thing that you're, you, that you're grateful for. And one thing you like about yourself. And I want you to post it every day, every single day. And she did for 30 days. And you know what? The best gift that I could have given her was asking her to do that. It changed her so much. Like she's like, yeah. just, it's, it's, it's all about the mind. You know what I mean? Like the mind, sure. like without your mind, you're nothing.
but like you can reprogram it to be more positive mm -hmm. about things, you know? And it actually, yeah. I didn't even have to buy her a car. She was just so grateful that I asked her to do that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. Well, it is, I mean, being negative is an easy thing to do. It's easy That's to like do. That's what I said. It's, it's the way of exactly. life. Negativity is just act, right. you know? It takes, yeah. it takes a certain person and it takes a strength of somebody that's not trying to be lazy with their life, you know? Like, when you Definitely. die, when you die, and when you're on your deathbed, you're gonna be like, oh, why did I have to be such a negative person my whole life? You know what I'm saying? It's like, when I'm in my deathbed, I'm just gonna be like, wow, wow. This world yeah. was a better place because of me. And I hope there's somebody great to, gonna take over, you know? I yeah. know that I know that lots of lives have, have breathed easier and are, yeah. are living a better life right now because of me because I'm in it. And that's not even conceited. That's just mm -hmm. the gift like that I have, like that it feels no. so good. I know for a fact that on my dying bed, there's going to be a lot of sad mm -hmm. hearts. There's going to be a lot of sad people. Like there's no way that I would ever leave this world not knowing that I was loved and appreciated. Yeah. You know, Definitely. and that's, and that's something that I didn't have as a kid. Like I was not yeah. loved and I was not appreciated, but I know mm -hmm. now that like going through that as a child, that, I have it now and I've made it a part of my life that I will be loved and appreciated and, and mm -hmm. like mourn for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my biggest fear is to die alone, but mm -hmm. my, my ultimate biggest fear was to die, not have, not have doing and not have done anything good in this world, you know? Yeah. To have an unfulfilled life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's where I'm at too. Like, I mean, obviously dying alone would fucking be terrible, but well, yeah, yeah, to, just, to leave and not have made any kind of impact. Like that's, yeah, that's yeah. no way to live. I mean, just one life. I mean, yeah, that's cool or whatever, but I mean, just many, it just feels so good. It's addicting. Yeah. Like it's, it's a drug to me. <laughs> it's like literally like hook me up. I'm fucking done. Like, give me no other drug besides that. Like, I seriously love it. It's like, like yeah. especially like for humans is okay, but like, um, mm -hmm. but for dogs, it's just amazing because they can't, they can't talk, you know, they can't tell yeah. you what they want. They can just love you. They can just show you how good you're, you're of a person you are, but how, how, how much they love you. And they, and they, my dogs are everything to me. They love me so much. Like, I would not be the person I am without them. Like I seriously, yeah. like I, pr I probably would have killed myself a long time ago had I not had my dogs because I, really? I don't trust that anybody would feed them or love them as good as I do. <laughs> no, that's, yeah. Nobody, nobody can take care of him. Like my <laughs> friend, he's 13 years old. He's going to live to be 25. I bet you. Yeah. 25. Yeah. Yeah. That is a good point though. It's like having that sense of, responsibility for somebody else it kind of trumps whatever you have going on absolutely that's why i say whenever somebody's sad or like oh woes me woes me woes me i'm like dude why don't you go outside and carry an old lady's groceries or something you know yeah you know think, think about somebody else like this like people that kill themselves no offense i've had a lot of friends mm -hmm. kill themselves but people yeah. that kill themselves are the most self-centered self-centered selfish people in the world yeah. like seriously like woes me woes me woes me i'm gonna kill myself because things aren't going my way ooh, ooh. it's yeah. like seriously dude i get it you having trauma man up like nothing's easy just come on you know yeah deal with it deal with it and get through it because like the, the hardest battle mm -hmm. like right there right when you're hitting your rock bottom is right when you're getting ready to level up the second you're getting ready to level up like right there you think that like oh my god I just lost my house. I just lost my dogs. My, my son just died in a car accident. Like, Oh my God, I might as well just kill myself. Boom. Right there. Mm -hmm. You're getting ready to level up. Like something, I'm mad. I'm, like I'm always worried when I get, when bad shit happens, I'm just like, what else is going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm kind of excited at the same time. Cause I want to know what change is going to happen in my life. So I'm just like, I'm just like, I, I accept it. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You want to take my car? You want to rob my house? Okay, cool. I got robbed. My yeah. house got robbed. My car got robbed. And then on my way home, my freaking luggage got robbed. And I was like, <laughs> I was like come on. Yeah. Some more. Give me some more. I was like, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> the level up is going to be good. And I moved to California yeah, yeah. and that was it. You know, it was just crazy. Yeah. It was like, wow. I, like, I get excited yeah. when bad things happen to me. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm just excited for the next chapter. Like, it's going to be a next chapter, you know? Like, <laughs> it's true. No, it really is. I mean, it's a, 
it is definitely an unusual way of thinking, but it makes sense. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, my friend, like, Rochelle, Rochelle Ryan, she always tells me, she's like, she's like, I love talking to you. She's like, no matter what you're going through in life, she's like, you always have a good, always got, you're always happy. You always have a good, you're yeah. always strong. And she told me the best compliment ever the other day. She says, she's like, you're, you're always so humble. She says, um, she's like, you have, like, you have, the, like, a way bigger name than me. She's like, you, you, you're pretty famous. Like, mm -hmm. she's like, and, and she's like, ever since day one, you've always been humble. She's like, that's what I love about you. You're like, you never let, you know, you never let porn take over your life. Like you're always really yeah. just a humble person. Like she's like, that's like probably the best thing. The best thing about you is that like, when I want to escape, you know, like all this porn stuff or whatever, she's like, I can still, you know, be comfortable because I'm going to your house, but like, I'm mm -hmm. totally comfortable. Like, cause you're humble. Like I don't have to feel like it's all about porn, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people like eat, sleep. I don't know. Uh -uh. It's work. You go there, you do it, and you go home. You know, it's just work. And it's just something that, like, happened in life that, you know, that got me to be able to live the life that I've lived, you know? And it's just, like, it actually also taught me to stop, um, uh, what is that, judging. So how do you deal with, or do you even deal with, like, regret? Like, do you have any regrets about, like, I mean, not even just necessarily porn, but yeah, I guess porn specifically. Life. Yeah, life, so, really. So I really wish that I would have um, saved more money, you know what I'm saying? Instead, like, I just, like, started off all kinds of business ventures and stuff like that because, you know, and, and they failed. Like, I started a trucking company, it failed. Um, like, so, I mean, but, I mean, it is what it is. At least I know now that I can't, you can't go into business with your family. And, um yeah. Yeah, because I yeah. I got my brother a job like at a trucking company, and I like mm -hmm. I've done I've been in trucking my whole life, so I started a trucking company and and I tried bringing him on as my truck driver, and it was just horrible. It was just horrible. Yeah. Like he would call me for like to to buy it like a, an ink cartridge, but he didn't call me when he bought a twenty thousand dollar truck. I'm like, there's a big freaking difference here. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. Which is yeah. Yeah. But um I don't really have regrets. Like mm -hmm. I think that's one of the things like I do like before. Actually I can't say that. I can't say that. I do have um a few personal regrets, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that in, in life like it'll it'll like it'll end up working out for me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I don't know. In the long run, like right now I might have a like a few regrets, but I just don't know the outcome of it, you know, and I don't know like what the journey has in store for me so i haven't mm -hmm. seen the full potential of it yet so that's probably yeah. the best way to look at that like regrets are when you don't see when you don't see what you've made like like what choice you've made has made you feel you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. regrets are for people that 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 aren't trying to have make it better it's for people that are scared to scared to live their life yeah. like they regret it so then they, they get coward i'm not going to regret anything i'm not going to be coward about anything i don't know Cause I would say like, I regret like, you know, not finishing college, but like, then again, yeah. you know, I can still go to college. I can still go, you know what I'm saying? So like, I mean, no, I don't, I don't live with regret. It's not a good feeling, you know? No, it's not, yeah. It's not a good feeling at all. Yeah. Yeah. So, hmm, good no, question. Good. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. I mean, cause there's probably misconceptions about you. I would imagine just that like, I mean, a, anyone in like the adult entertainment business, mm -hmm. there's like this idea that some people have, but you don't really seem to fit into any of that idea. And it just yeah. seems like it's just a big misconception. You know what I mean? Like, like, do you feel judged by people who don't know like shit about you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like, the, I, it's not that I, I feel it. It's there. Yeah. Every, oh my God, it's so there. Like, and you know what's crazy is that I hate it so much. I hate the fact, but you know what? At the end of the day, hate is such a strong, powerful, and nasty word. Like all around, hate. I don't hate anything in this world. So I just feel bad for them. Like I feel bad because they're going to sit there and judge me and they just lost it out on an amazing person. So it's like, yeah, it's their loss, not mine. You know, so you judge, 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 judge away. I don't care. Look yeah. at that big tit, bim, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, they just, like, you know, that's, the, you know, 
that's their, that's their loss completely and entirely. Like that's how you have to look at it because you can't stop people from judging. Like the only, you know, my best friend told me the, the, the difference between um, us and animals is our ability to accessorize. Everybody judges. <laughs> So I was like, so I am like a lion. He was like, yeah, sure, baby girl, you're like a lion. <laughs> like, Yay. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 I mean, how do you deal with attention? Because you must get attention like so, crazy. So I don't really leave the house. Okay. I really, well, that's I really don't. Yeah. Like I literally do not. I don't leave the okay. house at all. Like and so <laughs> Rochelle even said it. She's like, She's like, girl, you were practicing. She's like, you are the queen of quarantine. I was like, man, I had that shit down pat before we even started. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. really good at it. Like, I am so good at mm -hmm. staying away. It's like not even funny. Am yeah. I charging? Let's see. Yeah. No, that's what I'm the same way. Like, this has not been a difficult transition for me at all. Yeah. Like, no, I'm like, it just, it gives me more reason to start projects because I know I'll be here and because I know that you know, nothing's going to come up last minute. Like usually like that was one thing that sucked about my, you know, about like hosting or like any, my, is that like, I always had to be ready. Like, and I couldn't start a project because like I would pretty soon have to leave or something like that, you know? So I was like, man, I started a garden. It failed. I got one pepper yeah. out of it. I ain't even gonna lie. I, got, I, I had this huge garden. Like, I mean, I was in it, man. I really did it. Like I did everything official. Yeah. And it grew, it was blossoming. I had so many squashes. I was like, oh my God, I don't even like squash. Like, I don't even know. Like I looked, I had to start yeah. looking up recipes. And then I went out there the next morning and they were like dried up like an old man's freaking fingers were. Like, it was horrible. Like, so horrible. Like, it was not even cool. I, yeah. Everyone died. I mean, I was even looking forward to the cucumbers. Like, every girl needs a good cucumber. Uh, but like, yeah, nothing. One pepper and I didn't even know what to do with it and I threw it away. Yeah. Pretty pathetic. Uh -huh. Pretty pathetic. I mean, <gasps> but it was fun. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you could do the same thing you were going to do with the cucumbers, but be disappointed. <laughs> right. I mean, right. No, yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of funny, though. <laughs> I took up, like, crocheting, like, big time. I crochet a lot now. Like, mm -hmm. I make tons of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, actually, uh, uh, Rochelle, Rochelle got me, like, kind of started. Because um, mm -hmm. I was I was just, I don't know, I was bored. So I started crocheting, like, I don't know, it looked fun and it was so soft. I was just like, oh, I like touching this, the material. And then she's like, mm -hmm. ooh, she's like, can you make house slippers? And I'm like, I was like, but you see what I'm, 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 I'm knitting a line right here. Like, I mean, I, the most I can make is a scarf. So I was like, hmm. I was like, I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll try. So I started trying out socks, you know, like making socks. Mm -hmm. And they came out looking like funky. And then I freaking discovered YouTube. What? Yeah. Oh, I have the yeah, best yeah. house slippers in the world. She'll come over and, and I'll make her a pair like like that. Like an hour. Every time she came every time she came over, I give her a new pair of slippers. Cause she, she would like I was like, go pick out a color and, and I have a whole closet full of yarn. And she would just pick yeah. out like, you know, the color that she wanted and I would make them fast. I'm really good. Well, yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's awesome. You take requests. <laughs> <laughs> well, with her, yeah, like, I, she throws them away. I'm like, oh my God. Like I stopped making them for her. Cause she, she's mm -hmm. like, well, that the first pair I made her, like, I mean, rightfully so there was a hole mm -hmm. in the tip of the toes. And so they were starting to rat, you know, like get, you know, yeah. fall apart. So she threw them away. Okay. Rightfully so. But it still hurt my feelings that she told me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, was like, oh, yeah, I ain't going to go on my way to make her no slippers. No, no, no. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I break weak when she comes over. I just like I love giving. <laughs> so yeah. and she'll fall asleep. She always falls asleep on the couch. So mm -hmm. and she, yeah, so she'll fall asleep and then her her feet will be on me. So I'll just be trying them on her while I'm making her. <laughs> and she'll wake up and she'll have new slippers on. <laughs> yeah. She's kind of spoiled like that. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Hey, that's I mean that's good to do that though to friend like for friends. Yeah, like, she loves them. Your, yeah, for sure. Like, it makes yeah. me really happy. Like really, it's really weird that the like, like somebody that has everything in the world and they got all the money in the world and it, it makes her so happy. Like, it's like, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It, cause it, it's like the little things, but if there's meaning behind them, then that's yeah. way more important. Yeah. That's yeah. why I, I was sad when she said, she, she told me she threw them away. And I was like, I knew that like they were, they were, 
I mean, and after she told me that, it actually gave me the courage to throw away some of the things that I made that didn't look exactly. <laughs> like it did get, but it still hurt my feelings. <laughs> but I, it, it gave me courage to throw some stuff away, man. It really did. Because yeah. like when I was yeah. making the souls, like some of them were like, look like like you know, they weren't souls to shoes or whatever. But yeah. and then. I gave some to uh, the, my friend Brianna Jordan. She had a, she just had a baby shower, and I made her these like cute like cute little sandals for her daughter. And she, yeah. um, I thought that she, I, I left before she opened presents because I was like, oh my god, she's not gonna like them. It's, it's, it's like I don't know what I I don't even know why I didn't think they were because I every time I would start making these sandals like and they were really difficult. I would mess up one stitch or one row or it didn't look right. I threw I threw it away and I started again. Like they were yeah. perfect. They were, these shoes were perfect because she's a perfectionist. And so I don't know why I didn't think she was going to love them. She's like, Oh my God, they're keepsake. They're so amazing. Like, and I was just like, so grateful that she liked them like that. It was really cool. It feels better to like give somebody a gift that you've like worked hard on. You know what I mean? Like it's cool. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah, Because you put more effort into it. So it has more yeah. meaning to you as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sleepless yeah, nights, sleepless nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. So how about like, I mean, during quarantine, like how, has OnlyFans just like taken off for you? Because it seems like it has for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, it's the place to, like, I mean, yeah, it's definitely like, it is my only income right now. So yeah. That's good. So, yeah. yeah. I've been concentrating on that a lot. I should be doing live shows, but I'm pregnant right now. So I just don't know how many people want to see a pregnant woman walking around. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they're, they're, I mean, my fans love, like, the love that I have, huh? I said you'd be surprised. I know, and I was surprised. I, I'm very surprised. They are so, so supportive. Like, the first people I told were my only, like, on my only fans. Those are the first people I told at all. Like, I didn't even tell anybody. Like, I told them. And I gave them an opportunity. Like, I posted my registry there because I wanted to be able to give them a special surprise. Like, every person that bought something off my registry I sent them a DVD, a, an eight by 10, a special thank yeah. you. You know what I mean? Like I really went out of my way because I wanted my fan, my only fans to know like how much I appreciated them. And like, I'm going to mm. post now I can post it on my Instagram and stuff like that. And then I'll probably just send them like a picture or whatever like that. But I wanted to make sure that I gave my only fans, you know, because they've been supporting me this whole time. It's just like, I'm really grateful. So yeah. yeah. So any That's, gift yeah. I got, like I just, I knew it was from, I knew it was from on my OnlyFans. So I just sent the DVDs and stuff like that. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, and then, you know, for your side of it too, to be able to to go out of your way to like show your things. I mean, that, I think that's an underrated quality for people because you know so many people just, yeah, like they know they have fans and all that, but they don't really like show any kind of like gratitude to them, like towards them. Well, so like, so like. Yeah. Gratitude is like, like my biggest thing. Like I am, like, it, it's so crazy. Like if you're not grateful, then, then you're not living. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It, like without my fans, like my fans actually like taught me so much, like just like yeah. in the industry and everything like that. Like it, it is a weird, it is a weird industry and, and, and the people mm -hmm. in it aren't that great, but I'm saying that the fans are honestly the only reason why I stayed in porn for so long. They gave me a backbone when I didn't have one. They made me want to be a better person. Like even the haters, the haters, yeah. like I swear to God, the haters made me stronger. Like yeah. it would crush me. Like, oh, I would read a comment like, oh my God, like, oh, I'm going to hurt myself or whatever. Like how, yeah. how come, you know, but that's one person that's probably mm -hmm. living a really sad and miserable life. And, yeah. and for them to have to say something like that mm -hmm. to me, obviously means that they need some kind of like release. And if that's mm -hmm. what, if that comment hurting me and, and crushing me and throwing that comment at me made them feel better, then I'm already mm -hmm. doing my job. You know what I'm saying? Then, I mean, it's okay. So it's like, but like when they told me, they call me fat. So I started going to the gym like crazy. Like they make me a yeah. better person. They like every, all, all around. Like, it's like, yeah. you, sometimes you don't see the things that everybody else sees and you just, you just got to stop and, you know take a look back at things, you know, like, okay, you, you always second guess yourself, but mm -hmm. you know, if that's a smart thing to do, I guess. Right. Like, Ooh, am I really fat? Okay. Well, I guess I could work out, you know, and I tore it up. I got like diesel. It was really yeah. cool. Like without them, like I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be as strong yeah. as I am. So yeah. yeah. 
I, I love it. Like that's the only reason, and it's crazy, crazy, but that's the only reason why I stayed in porn for so long. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, do you have any? So you, I mean, going back to the regret thing, like you don't have any regrets for leaving? No, no. I think I left it. Like I think I left at the right time. Yeah. Everything is like, like nobody really shoots anymore. It's too much risk. I, I'm done. Like mm -hmm. I always told myself that you know, I, it's not. A, I don't hate it. And mm -hmm. you know, the second the, the second I don't like it, or the second I hate it, or where I don't feel like the second I regret leaving my home, or you know, I I I won't do it. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. and I started feeling like it was too much of a risk. You know what I'm saying? Like every time I turned around, somebody had something and, and they were shooting or, mm. you know, I got, I got exposed to something. I didn't catch it. Thank God. But I got exposed to something and it just kind of like, it really yeah. made me take a step back and think about how many lives I'm affecting, not only myself, but like, you know, my boyfriend at the time and just, it's just, it's not worth yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. some of these diseases, like it, it could, it could affect you like to have kids or children, like, you know, you, yeah. so it's just it's just so it's so much of a risk and it's so much like it's so much easier to be happy knowing that when i wake up in the morning that that my vagina's gonna give me a high five instead of like something's wrong by the doctor you know what i'm saying yeah. like yeah i like i like my vagina be like hey, whoosh, how's it going girl let's go let's go tackle this day <laughs> yeah. we're happy <laughs> you know it's good <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good way to be. Yeah. I don't know how that's, happy she's gonna be in like five months. <laughs> no, no. I'll have to hit you she'll, back up and let you know. <laughs> she'll never forgive you, I'm sure. She's gonna be like, bitch, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna me. take so many pictures before. Be like, oh, yes, I'm gonna like do stocks of pictures before because I don't know what she's gonna look like afterwards. It's like. I'm scared. I mean, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm I would so imagine. scared. You have no idea. Like I've seen some, sh I don't even want to know, but like, I mean, like, wow. It's just, can you imagine pushing a lemon out of your pee hole? Can you imagine? God. I mean, it's like, it's like passing a stone, like a kidney stone. You know how they, they look yeah, like, like those little. I think like I was, I was reading that it's like, it's the equivalent for a guy is like to piss out a marble. Like, Okay. And whenever, whenever I heard that, I almost threw up. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> because guys aren't freak. But guys are babies. You. <laughs> that is true. What stopped you from throwing up? I was, I like, it was so fuck. I was just like, there is no way. Like, that's the shit that they're going through. Mm. Then I like, like, I went, I, yeah, I was, oh. dude, my friend, my my best friend's husband. He's like, don't. He's like, you're gonna want to do a natural birth, and I'm like. I was like, you have, you bumped your head like seriously hard. Like, I, don't know. I was like, do you need some Tylenol? Cause you're crazy. I, there's no way that I'm yeah. going to, uh, uh. And he's like, well, that's how girls need. That's why girls need the extra stitch. And that's why this, and that's why that he's like, you, you're all numbed up, girl. You're pushing when you shouldn't be pushing and you're going to rip when you shouldn't rip. And then, yeah, that's when bad things happen. She's like, he, he said, he's like, the best thing is natural birth because you can feel it. And I'm like, I don't want to feel it. <laughs> Yeah, no. I was like, who the hell is getting ex who the hell is pregnant and being like, I can't wait to feel this happen. <laughs> my best friend's daughter, my best friend's daughter, she went into labor and she was having a home birth and 15 hours of labor. She finally had to go to the hospital and get a cesarean. Uh, crazy. That's nuts. When I found that out, I was like, I was already pregnant, but like, I was Jeez. scared. I was really scared. Like you're trying to have a home birth and then you end up having a C-section. Like that's intense. Like, it yeah, be, it, just, it just goes to show that it should be in the hospital. It should always be in the hospital, you know. Yeah. And my, I just changed my badge doctor because they were like, it was. They said it was either the home nurse or the the midwife or the doctor. And I was like, no, I want the doctor because if yeah. certain things happen, like only the doctor can do it. If certain things happen, the midwife won't do it because she can't right. do it, and and it would be more uncomfortable. And so I didn't want the toss up. I didn't like the. I didn't like the. I didn't like the doctor's office. Period. It just. They were snotty. Yeah. They, were, they were bitches. So, mm. yeah, I changed. I changed on them, and they didn't think they didn't see that coming. Yeah, they yeah. were like they were just Rudy Tootie fresh and snooty to me, and and I was like, bye, Felicia. Yeah. Do that. Mm -hmm. That's damn. I could not but, imagine giving birth. Like, uh, I mean, yeah, I can't either. 
Like you're talking, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's happening for you. Yeah, you like know? I'm starting to get, like I'm starting to get a little bit of the anxiety. Like, like yeah. right now, like today when I woke up this morning, I was just, I was like, because I'm starting to show a lot, so I'm just like, the anxiety's real right now. <laughs> the nerves are real right now. Like, I'm, yeah. <laughs> it's real. Like it's on point. Yeah. Like, whew. like it's it's at the yeah. max. Yeah, I'm pretty no, scared. I can, I just, and I'm I only can. halfway there. Can you imagine? I'm only halfway there. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe by the time, like, the closer you get, the more you'll be like, God, let's just make this happen. Like, it's like maybe the anxiety will go away. I don't know. I don't know what You know what? what? I'm, I'm thinking about. that, you know what? You're right. Wow, you're smart. I'm thinking that that might be exactly why women are just like, hey, check this out. Oh, I don't care how you get it out of me. Let's do this yeah. now. Like, I don't yeah. care if you have, like, if you only have a, a point of that drug, get this out of me now. So you're probably yeah. right. They're probably just like yeah. done with it. I, I can't yeah. wait till she starts moving. I can't wait. Yeah. Like I haven't felt anything yet. I know. Like, yeah. I mean, mine, mine hasn't really gone anywhere in the past 13 years. So no I'm, kicks yet? No kicks? Oh, man. Well, yeah. there is, but it's only after I eat like Taco Bell or something. Oh, a couple that of sucks. A punch, but yeah. Every now and then I'll feel like something underneath my rib and I have to push it in. But I know that's not her because she's down there. Uh, in the womb still or whatever yeah. she ain't close to my ribs yet so maybe it's just me yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah, it's my organs be like me. wow <laughs> we're having to move from something <laughs> they're like comfortable yeah. where they're at and they don't want to move <laughs> yeah yeah but it is a yeah. crazy thought like like there's no way i could do it that's why women are so much Dude, more in, like stronger my than internal men. organs are making room for this like pouch to yeah. like just I know appear moving <sighs> Like God, that and then she, it is. It's weird, but like, there's something really amazing about it too. That it's. I wish. That, I wish. That, I wish there was a way that I could like reach, re, re, re groove the channel and make it come out my butt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I that, it sounds a little bit better. <laughs> it does. I kind of yeah. I wouldn't mind that. I, I don't think I would mind that at all. You know, like stitch it up. Let's call it a day. <laughs> I think like I mean because like I mean you've passed some pretty big shits I know you have like it'd be just like constipated you know what I'm saying right just gotta read, True. like listen to some soothing music and like just let it come out you know yeah that's a good point I mean I've definitely had some that could have passed for a for a child like a baby a baby <laughs> well, no like a baby, no, a baby seagull no like a, a toddler oh that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> funny. So, yeah it's maybe funny. you're right that is a good point damn yeah yeah like i'm i just can't imagine like squeezing something out like that like the whole dick to like like a marble out of like your dick that that analogy has scarred wow. me for a lot you're so funny like i mean guys are such sissies like seriously they get a flu and they're like Wee! like the biggest baby in the world but like oh, yeah. I've been I've been through some pretty painful stuff. Like I've had ectopic pregnancy. Like, I only have one fallopian tube. Like there's so much stuff against me that I should not have gotten pregnant. Yeah. But I did. I, like I like by the grace of God I did. And it's just crazy. Like there's nothing but you know gratitude and gratefulness and yeah just everything. And then and then I've also like because I'm like above I'm I'm um uh, like over the hill I guess like. I don't know. My, my doctor says I'm VIP. I'm part of the VIP club because I'm over 35. All these like yeah. $3,000 tests, like $3,500 tests for this. Like, and I have a high risk pregnancy um, doctor's office or whatever. So yeah. that's um, like, it's all covered by my insurance. Yeah. Because, because I'm like high risk. So like I got this cell-free DNA testing to check and see if my baby has Down syndrome. I got, my baby's healthy. Everything's healthy. That's it's good, good. And it was all covered by insurance. Hell yeah. Damn. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. That's good. I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so man, I don't know. I've I've always been on the fence about having kids. You know what? I, I know. never wanted kids. I never wanted kids. No. Like, I mean so I never thought that because I, I, I wanted kids that have loved. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted mm -hmm. to be married. I wanted like I wanted to be in love. I wanted to be so in love that I that I brought a, a baby. Like, and that's all picturesque. And I mean, and, and rightfully so, like if I wanted to wait. I mean, but mm -hmm. I just, you know, it, it, it wasn't in the cards. I finally met somebody that wanted to have kids as much as I did, and so I did it. 
not thinking about it, not thinking about the outcome, not thinking about the, oh, he's going to be stuck in my life for 30, you know, some whatever years. For the rest of my life, he's stuck in my life. I didn't think about any of that. I just thought about the fact mm -hmm. that, like, you know, I'm not going to be tricking anybody or I'm not going to be conning anybody or I'm not going to, like, this person's not going to run after, as soon as I get pregnant. Like, you know, they're going to be yeah. a father. You know, it, it, I didn't think about anything else besides the fact that my, do my daughter's going to have, or my kid's going to have a, a father and a mother, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but that's like, that's like, one of my biggest downfalls is always being positive and optimistic about things that I don't see the negative side of things. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, it, like yeah. it's, but it's like right there dangling in your face. Hello. Right. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Like it, it, you become blind to it because you're so Very blind. wired. Yeah. But, but it's because like you're wired to just see positivity. Yeah. Which yeah. in a sense isn't bad, but it's anything to an extreme is bad. And yeah, well, I mean, yeah. it's, so. I think it's, I think it's to a fault. I, I think it's to a, it's yes. a flaw. It's a flaw. Like, sure. was, and my ex yeah. used to say, why he's like, why are you giving yourself a back end, back ended comment or compliment? And I'm like, I was like, dude, seriously. Like I told him, I said, my, my biggest flaw is my heart. Like, is that I love too hard. You know what I mean? And he's mm -hmm. like, why are you always giving yourself back ended comments? Like, or compliments. I'm like, it's not, it's not mm -hmm. compliment. Like, it's seriously like, mm -hmm. You know, I'm too nice. I'm too nice. Like, it's just, yeah. but there's no such thing as too nice, but there is such thing as being too optimistic, like naive. Like people, people tend to call that naive. Yeah. Naive. Well, it, it, I'm not naive. Too, I just choose to, I just choose to only like, I guess I choose to like live with like lessons. <laughs> I just choose to be positive until somebody proves me wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? Ooh. So do you go based on like trust first and then you break the trust or like so, earn trust and then so you trust? I love and hate equally in the beginning. Okay. I love you and hate you. You choose what side you go to. So I treat everybody the same. And I, and I never let somebody reap what someone else has sown. I mean, okay. I have, I think I have a few times, but I, I, you know, I stopped it really quickly because it's not fair. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody deserves a chance. You know? So, yeah. so, but like, but it goes really quick. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, mm -hmm. I'm very kind and people like, t people try to take my kindness for weakness or they, they always try to take advantage of me, you know, always, always. Like I've been taken advantage of so much. It's not even funny and it's not a good yeah. feeling, but it's not something that's going to make me change my ways of life. You know, no mm -hmm. matter how many times like somebody has done me wrong, I will still, still always give them the benefit, everybody the benefit of the doubt. You know, I'm not going to like, treat somebody bad because somebody else is fucking over you know i've been screwed yeah. over a lot but yeah. it, it, it's just not some it's just not me i'm not gonna let mm -hmm. the negative things in life change who i am you know mm -hmm. so yeah it's okay yeah. That's, no that's that's a good way to be though i mean regardless because it could be worse you could be you know just never trust anyone and then yeah maybe then you I mean, but how fun is that how yeah, exactly. Like, like, if you don't trust exactly. anybody, then, then tr nobody's trusting you. Okay? Like, th that's just mm -hmm. a simple fact. If you can't trust somebody, then nobody, nobody's going to trust you because you don't know what it's like to trust somebody to be trusted. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, for Get sure. It? Like, you don't, yeah, it's just, it's, mm, I don't know. I don't trust wholeheartedly. Like, I have a lot of acquaintances, tons of acquaintances, but I think I have this many friends. Like, seriously. Yeah. Like, and I'm 38, so yeah. yeah. I just my circle is really small, but yet it's huge. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like it's so huge, but very small. Yeah, I'm. I can get that because I mean that's kind of where I'm at too. Like I've kept a small, close circle, but mm -hmm. that circle is like my life. Like that circle yeah. is everything. And yeah, and I've that's something that I've always had to work on was. Like I don't trust people or, yeah. you know, I, I take bad experiences from my Baby life. Step. Exactly. And I, but I put it onto somebody else, which is not mm. fair. And I realized that, that like, exactly yeah. that it's not, it's not the right thing to do. Cause what yeah. the hell did they do to me? Nothing. And so that's mm -hmm. what, yeah. yeah. But you're, you're also at the age right now where you're learning, but like, um, you <laughs> learn, you, you'll learn, you'll figure yeah. it out. Like, it's just, it's not, it's not a way to be. It's not. And, and, and also like, in, in the long run, like, do you hate anybody? Do you honestly, can you honestly tell me you hate somebody? 
No. You know, nobody's ever done anything wrong. Where you're just like, oh, I hate that person. Oh, I get, you know, I can well, live my whole life, huh? Uh, no. Okay, so I've had like the passive statement of, man, I hate that guy. Or, it's not a passive but, statement. You say that, and you're training your brain to hate. You know that, right? Yeah. You're, you're well, training your brain and your nervous system. You're training. You're training yourself to put mm-hmm. a feel a certain feeling to a word. Just delete delete it from your vocabulary, and you're, you'll be a better person. Like. To hate somebody is to give them all of, like, all of your heart, uh, everything. Like, if somebody said, tells me they hate me, which, I mean, it's kind of a compliment, but, like, nobody nobody in this world could hate me. Like, right now, if I had something bad happen to me, like, I know that it's just the universe trying to show me something. I know it's not because one person indirectly tried hurting me or tried, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and that's, that's yeah. an amazing feeling. Like, that's an amazing feeling to know that, like, I don't have any one enemy out there. But... It's also the life I've chosen, like, because to live with hate is just, it's, it's heavy. It's, it's heavy and it's on you. It's only on you. It's not, it's not affecting their life. Like say, oh, I, no. hate, that. I hate Jeff. Oh, Jeff is such a bad, yeah, like Jeff's not breathing any differently. He's not yeah, living any differently sure. because of your hatred. <laughs> you are because, yeah. you know, because you're allowing it. You're allowing that person to still yeah. get you. You just gotta yeah. let it go. Letting go is the so- hardest thing in the world. But letting go is 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 key. Yeah. That's, letting go, yeah. like letting go of like that's why there's death. That's why there's death because we've got to learn to let go. Mm-hmm. And it's it's life's it's life's natural way of teaching us the circle of life. You know, like everything mm-hmm. that keeps going. It's that's life's way of teaching us to let go of things. Like we had no choice to let go of that, but we had to. You know. So yeah, some things yeah. now we have choices in our life that we can let go mm-hmm. or not, but you know, it's you just see what I'm saying. Let no, it go. It's, hard. it's the hardest thing in the world. It's the hardest thing in the world. It is. Mm-hmm. No, it really is. Yeah, it's hard to let go of. I mean, hate, because I mean, I've been you know just since we've been talking, trying to think of like, yeah, I mean, yeah. there's probably tons of times where I've just been like, I fucking hate this person. Yeah, I just can't think great. of like specific people, but it's. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Like, like they don't care if I hate them. They could care less. They're not living so, any differently. Right. So why would I hate? The, them? Why does it matter? What's the if point? I hate them? What's the point yeah. in giving so much energy to it? You know, just yeah, like let exactly. it go. Like so many people, like so many people, done me wrong. Like sometimes it's hard to forget them because they've done me so wrong mm-hmm. that it's like scarred me mentally, and like yeah. it just. <clears throat> but, but. I forgot. I've forgotten how it made me feel. You know what I'm saying? I've just let it go. Like I've forgotten all about yeah. them. You like know? it's better to learn the lesson from it and kind of go, okay, maybe I should use this to watch out for something. Yeah. But absolutely, it but never happened again. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. To just exactly like fool me once, shame on you. You know that kind of thing. So. Yeah. 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 That's damn. Yeah. yeah that's a, remember that shit. Like it's crazy when no. somebody says I hate that, and I'm just like, I feel bad for you. I feel so bad for you. It's like, whew. Yeah. I was like, all that energy hating somebody. Why don't you go to the gym? Shit. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you and got I a lot notice, of energy. You be hating somebody. Do, Fuck. Go to the gym. Yeah, and I, exactly. And I do notice that when I'm just, when things are going better, I say that way less. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like even yeah. if I get, like, um, if I get mad at somebody like in traffic, mm. if uh, I'm already, all the time, I'm, Exactly. Me too. Like that's my fault because I like I have road rage. Not see I hate it when people when somebody's in my car telling me what to do. I'm like, I have told one car in my life and yes, okay, what one, that's it. Like I'm 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 pretty good driver. I get to where I gotta go, yeah. I'm fast, but whatever. Now I got this like four banger cylinder car because I traded my car in and it doesn't go anywhere and, and it makes me crazy because it's like got no no balls, none. Like I yeah, mean seriously. Yeah. Like grandpa deflated them like 10 years ago, kind of fast. Like it's really bad. Yeah. No, that's a, like. But road rage yeah, is, uh, is real with me right now. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. So, I'm just like, I mean, but then again, I stay home. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So have you noticed that too? Like it, it, like, I don't know if it's, the, I guess it is a hormonal change, but. Like, Dude, where it's you have no you idea. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, because like, no, because like, I, I had, um, like, I had, um, an IED for 16 years. So like, I, I like, I didn't have a period for 16 years. I didn't have a mo- like, like, I didn't have all that, like, yeah, all, all yeah, these yeah. hormones. And then all of a sudden, boom, 
like I pulled, like I, I pulled my IUD out and, you know, I, I actually like, you know, I tried having, you know, tried conceiving and then boom, it happened. And all of a sudden, like, ah, like I had, a, yeah. I had two periods before I got pregnant. That was it. So like after 16 years, no, no emotions, no, no hormones. Dude, mm -hmm. you, you want to know how crazy it was? I, I did like literally. Wow. I, mm -hmm. I, everybody stayed away. Everybody stayed away. Like I was just like up, down, all around. I'm just like, go, just go, leave. Yeah. My dogs were even kind of scared a little bit. They were like kind of living, they were like kind of on edge. <laughs> they were just like, oh, yeah. my dog, my May, my female dog, she would tiptoe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, when she would come yeah. into a room and I'm in there, she would like, she would tiptoe into the room. <laughs> I swear, like, oh, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. It was real. Yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> oh, but, I'm girl, girl, guys. Yeah, no, I'm making <laughs> sense. Like, they're like, having a, the three of them are having a little meeting like look everybody mom's on edge just keep your shit like, together don't know what that person the lady person is going through but it's crying crazy <laughs> tiptoe if you can yes. don't make a noise <laughs> ready yeah. said break <laughs> yeah damn smoke them if you got them but outside <laughs> <laughs> oh, god that's, that's what yeah i don't know like i think i might like i always had the that idea of like i'm never gonna have kids or like, you know, like this weird fantasy. Like, and that's what it. I'm thinking too. Like, it's, it's that like idea, like as a kid, I always wanted to be that like old bachelor, like. Yeah, singing. but like how fun is that going for you? How is that going for you? You know what I'm saying? Well, exactly. So I, and now that I've gotten, as I've gotten older, which I'm still, you know, young and dumb, but like, as I've gotten older, I realize like, well, who the fuck wants to live like that? Like, who, like, like who's, gonna, who, who's gonna love you? Like. You know, like I just want somebody. I just want some something and somebody to love me. I just want to love something so unconditional. But I want to mm -hmm. like. I mean, my dogs. I love them. Like obviously, like I have such yeah. a big heart. Like I just need love. I mean, I I want it back. But I want to be able to like. I, I'm ready for something that talks now. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> ready for something that talks. That's all. Yeah. And I want something that's gonna outlive me. Like you know what I'm saying. I mean, these guys. Like I keep on setting myself up for failure because like you know, they're gonna, they're not gonna outlive me, these dogs, like, I mean, I'm gonna have to watch them pass, and, 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 and it breaks my heart to even think about it, but it's like, like, I'm yeah. ready for, to love something that's gonna, you know, it's gonna outlast me, you know? Yeah, and it's, it's a legacy, too, it's something yeah. that, like, yeah. somebody explained it to me once that, because, like, I've always had this, like, irrational fear of dying, like, yes. just a, I, you know, I, I used to not, I used to not when I was younger, but I do now, I do know. Really? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And, 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 and no, like, I have a fear of dying and nobody knowing. You know what I mean? Cause like I'm alone. The, yeah. That is no, that's always been my fear is like dying yeah. and nobody knows what happened. And, but it's also mostly more that I don't know what happened. Uh, like I don't well, not you do know, know what happened, something. but you're dead. You're gone. So it's like, but that's like, what I'm I always tell myself like, you know, when I start thinking like that, I always tell myself, don't worry about it. When you die, it's, it, it's going to be, it's going to be on the news. Like, however you die, it's going to be on the news. So don't worry about it. You know, you'll be good. you're good. Like, it's going to yeah. hit front paper. It's going to be on the newspaper or whatever. There's no newspapers really anymore. So it's going to be on the news. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit different for you. I mean, yeah, every, the whole damn country is going to know, like, for you. But, I mean, mine. Uh, no, not, be... not really. Like, like, look at I sometimes I don't post on my Instagram for like three months. Nobody ever, nobody ever comes sends a squad after me. I could have been dead. You know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. so many times where like, like, like if I don't take care of myself, nobody will, you know? And it's just like, yeah. if, if I, I don't fear death as much as I feel fear life. You know what I mean? Like life mm. is so crazy. Like who's to fear death? Death is like, it's peaceful. You're done. You're gone. You're, you know? True. Yeah. So, I don't know. You just gotta, I don't know. But yeah. now like I have something that's going to love me and it's going to talk. It's going to use words. Like it's just going to be really yeah. cool. Yeah. Like she's going to, she's going to be everything I wasn't. She's gonna speak tons of languages. She's gonna be really smart. She's gonna she's gonna have a big heart. And she's gonna love animals. She's gonna be very yeah. giving, very giving. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I wanted a boy so bad. Like, mm -hmm. I manifested. I manifested. I manifested so much. But you know what? When I got pregnant, I was just like, I just want them to be healthy. I don't even care what it is. I want. I just want it to be healthy. Yeah. Her name's gonna be Seven. 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 Okay. S E V S E V Y N. Seven. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Seven. I'm just. I'm, I'm a freak about numbers and and and, and oh, my okay. birthday. 
like my birthday is seven, July 7th, so that's 7-7. Seven, seven, and my life <laughs> number is a seven. So I'm just, I love sevens. It's just good. Yeah, and that's a good name. Much. Seven. Seven is a good name. Yeah, I actually, I like it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mine's December seven. seven. That's huh? interesting, too. Your, Mine's your December birthday? seven. Yeah, oh, really? December. See? Yeah. All cool people have, the, they have something to do with the seven. <laughs> yeah. It always been like, like my favorite number, too, like a lucky number of mine was always seven. It is. It's a good seven. Yeah. It's a good number. It's perfect. Yeah. Seven. I love it. In Seven River. Yeah. That's what Merlin, River. Mm-hmm. River. I think that's cool. Seven River. That's a good I'm one. Happy. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Damn. Now I can tell you're excited. Like that's gonna yeah. be good. I'm, I'm, I'm more nervous than I am excited, but like I'm yeah, I'm getting there. It's kinda cool. Yeah. Well the nerves, I mean, it, it would be crazy if you weren't nervous. Mm. Some people aren't nervous. They're just like, ah, whatever. Oh, you know? Like I'm just I'm that, really nervous, like that makes like, no sense to me. That people yeah. could not be nervous, you know? See, it's I just worry, like I, I worry if I'll be a good mom, but like I don't because I know that like I want this child and 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 she was planned and you know what I mean like no, yeah. so I know I know th I know that that's already half the battle right there is it's good yeah. I'm good sure. yeah I I do not see that being an issue at all yeah no I'm pretty like, happy yeah for sure like yeah that's what like I keep thinking about it I don't know maybe I will have kids someday be interesting see? It's, it's cool. Like have a little you, everybody says that it changes their lives. Everybody says like, like, I mean, I've yeah. seen so many people like my, my friend, Matt, like, well, my acquaintance, Matt, um, mm -hmm. his psycho is all get up. Like he, nobody can handle him. Like he's yeah. just nuts, like crazy crackhead nuts. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he said that, um, having his daughter changes his life. I mean, I don't really see how or why he's still an asshole, but I mean, just the love that he has in his eyes for his daughter is yeah. just like, you know, yeah. if he thinks that it changed his life, then cool, whatever. But, you know, sure. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, it I does. I mean, I think it would do the same for me. I mean, it's going to do the same for you, too. I mean, I'm sure. Everybody says, like, everybody was, like, in a downward spiral that I've talked to. They were, and then they got a, they had a kid, and it changed their life. Like, it changed their mm -hmm. life. Like, it made them stop doing drugs or whatever. Like, I mean, yeah. I just, like, I don't want her to change my life. I want, like, I just want... I just want a friend. Mm -hmm. I just want somebody yeah. that I can grow old with, you know? That's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's and it. I want, I, mean, that, I want somebody to rely, that will rely on me and that will help me. And, you know, like, she, she's it. She's good. She's going to be a good girl. Yeah. Right. Well, and it's something that you can see, like, grow, too. And you can always look but me, back. It's going to be a part of me. Like, I'm going to be looking at me growing. It's, it's going to be really weird. <laughs> I always wanted a boy because I wanted to see my dad, you know, because I, I know that if I had a boy, like, it would look just like me and it would look like my dad. And I miss my dad so much. But I think that that's why I'm having a girl is because, you know, maybe my, if I had a son, then it would have probably been trying to take over, you know, my father's, mm. my father's life. You know what I mean? Like my father's yeah, legacy, sure. and my father's legacy wasn't good. My father was a drug dealer, hair cutter. Like he was my hairstylist my whole life. But I mean, yeah. he, he was a good man. He helped a lot of people, sure. but it was just like, yeah. yeah. So maybe that's why I'm having a girl. True. Yeah, yeah. So you think you would look like him? Because I look just identical. like my mom. Yeah. You do? Yeah, it's identical. Cool. I'm really scared. I'm really scared right now that that my kid will look like her father. <laughs> God forbid. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. May it probably But you not. never know. You never know. My my stream my, my, my genes are pretty strong, so Yeah. I'm playing. No, I'm I'm playing. Keep yeah, me in your prayers for that one. <laughs> I should probably look like you, I'm sure. Like I got screwed and ended up looking like my mom. Like we got it's identical. And like same cup size and everything. Shut <laughs> up. You're so dork. <laughs> I can't help it sometimes, but yeah, like, I don't know. It'd be interesting. I mean, yeah. I think it's going to be good for you. I think, you know, yeah. just to have that, like it's, yeah, yeah. I could see you being a really good mom too. So, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be nervous yeah. or too nervous. I think the whole, the whole thing, the whole key is to just, just, to just want the, like it, it not to be a mistake or like, like somebody like, like an oops, oops. Okay. I'm pregnant. Oops. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah, I mean, even though that can work out, like I know people that 
you know, had a had mistake children, multiple mistake children. And That's a horrible it, mistake. It is, I know. <laughs> but it worked like they, you know, they're they happy. Not the be kids. Good kids. Yeah, they turn out sure. good. Oh, that's good. Me, my brother, <laughs> like my my niece and nephew, they were. Oh yeah. Yeah, they yeah. were mistake kids. And my nephew right. is so he's so spoiled. I love my nephew so much. Like I got him everything. I I got him a Bugatti Power Wheel. Like I mean, that little boy is so spoiled. He loves me so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was really cool. So I haven't even yeah. talked to my brother yet. Like my brother's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I do have to get going though because I have a. A cam show at 10 and I want to eat something in between. No, you're mm-hmm. good. You're good. No worries. Well, I appreciate this. This is it was really good talking to you. Had a yeah, good no, time. it was nice talking to you. <laughs> it's shooting the shit. My arms yeah. are falling asleep, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, dude, my whole ass is falling asleep on this damn chair, so I'm with you. Right? <laughs> I've been walking around, so like I mean seriously. <laughs> that is a no. lot to fall asleep, dude. <laughs> It's like half your body right there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, especially mine. Good wake God. Wake that fucker up. Wake it up. Yeah. <laughs> Go get some Taco Bell. That'll wake her up. <laughs> uh, no bullshit. That's what I'm doing right now. But, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. That sounds so good. I'm going to go get some. <laughs> I know. I have to. We were talking about it earlier. Now I, it got stuck in my head. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I will talk to you later. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Well, what? Pay attention. Get off your cell phones. Pay attention.